This is the Laboratory Mill 3100. This is the approved grinder, grinder for the falling number um, machine. Scott uh, showed you the inside and now he's going to put in 250 grams of clean wheat from the uh, representative sample. Go ahead, Scott. Now Scott will take the flour out and then uh, the machine is cleaned after every sample to prevent contamination. and ready for the next sample. God is now mixing the flour to get a representative portion. We're only going to be using seven grams in each test tube. Now he's going to introduce 25 milliliters of distilled water into each test tube. This is uh, an apparatus that's calibrated um, at the beginning of each day to make sure that's exactly 25 milliliters of water. This is an automatic shaker that will shake it 20 times. take our stirring rods and scrape the inside of the test tubes. And according to our procedures, he has 40 seconds from the time they come out to scrape them and, and get them into the falling number machine, into the bath. Go up and down 110 times, 55 seconds, what will take. The result of these two samples need to be within 5% of each other, or we have to run the sample again. <clears throat> So we will average these two results and then a calculation will be applied to it. And in Spokane, we also do a uh, sea level altitude adjustment. Two forty two. 242 for the falling number that will be certified.